Hey what's up guys, MGH here and welcome to another episode of the Arsenal Career Mode. Now first of all, before we get into the episode, I've got some absolutely huge news that I want to share with you guys. I'm so excited. It is finally here, I've been waiting for years and years for the right opportunity and I can finally announce guys, I have my own merchandise. Here it is for the first time. We have MGH shirts, we have MGH jumpers and this shirt here has to be my favourite, the white with black. I'm so, so happy with it and I hope you guys are excited for it too. I've been asked for so, so long, when am I going to release shirts and jumpers and things like that. I was never really into it. I was always worried that the quality wouldn't be good enough and I, I was just waiting for the right opportunity to come around. And Fanfiber, a massive shout out to this company, they approached me and they sold me the idea and I'm so, so happy with it, guys. So you're probably asking, well, why now? Why didn't I do this a couple of years ago? Well, to be honest, guys, I just wasn't happy with the companies out there that were providing the services. I wanted to get the best quality at the best prices and the best service possible. And I really do think that Fanfiber provide that. So guys, if you want to check out the store, it's shop.officialmgh.com. And please, please, if you do buy any shirts, jumpers, Tweet me a picture, I'd really appreciate it. I'm so proud of this stuff. The logo just looks really nice on the shirts. Like I said, it's the best quality. It's 100% cotton, it's lovely stuff. It fits really well, and I'm sure you guys will be really, really happy with it. So thank you so much for supporting me on this. It's taken absolutely ages to get here, but it's finally here. I've got my own merchandise. I wanted to let you guys know. The link is below, it's on screen if you want to check it out. But now, let's get into the Arsenal career mode. Okay, so the first game of the episode is Swansea City at home. They've got a very decent squad and I've had to put in a few players because a lot of my first team were tired. So we're going to have to make do with some of the changes, but still a very strong squad. And I think I should be able to get three points here. If I don't, Chelsea could go nine points clear if they win all their next few games. So I'll be, I'll be so far behind. Now, of course, Swansea are known for playing very attractive football, especially... Keeping possession, you know, and it's frustrating. I tell you what, I just cannot get the ball at the moment, but that's what it's like on Legendary. I will have to just get used to it. I mean, to be honest, guys, the best tip I can give is just to be patient. Don't go diving into tackles. Wait for them to make a mistake like that. What was he thinking? And now I've got the ball back with a free kick. Here comes Ayu. He's been very good this season so far in real life. A free signing as well, which is ridiculous. And they're playing very, very good football here. But Shula, what a tackle that was. Let's get on the break here with Campbell up to Aubameyang. First touch inside, please. Never mind, second touch inside. And we've got a little run from Welbeck. That's a good ball. No, come on, Ozil, win that. No, that was our chance to really break on them. Come on, we can do this before half-time. That's a free kick. That's in a good position as well, and he's going to get a yellow card. It's further out than I thought, but I'm still going to go for it with Kazola here. Let's get a bit more power on it than usual. Oh, my God. It wasn't enough power in the end, but he still had to make a massive save there, Fabianski. Come on, just before half-time. Come on, we can do this. Ball over the top here. No, the referee's blown his whistle. Right, okay. Half-time, nil-nil. We've had a good few chances. Monreal, inside to Ozil, maybe. Nice. Into Aubameyang. Good first touch. Can I get around the defenders? I'm going to have a hit here. Oh my god, it's gone in. How has he managed to get that in from there? What a strike from Aubameyang. He just absolutely smashes it. Boom, right into the top left corner. That is a fantastic shot. I'm very lucky it didn't get deflected by two defenders there. They were right in front of it. Whew, okay. Right, now we just try and go for a second goal. No, 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 no. Don't let him get it through. No. Oh, wow. What a save by Czech. That is something else. They've got themselves a corner now, though. Please don't concede now. If they get a one all here, could be dangerous. Right, there we go. And now it's Welbeck running into space. Can we get a ball over for Campbell? We can. Please be a good first touch. It's not bad, but he's been caught up. No, I was about to smash it. Ten minutes to go and Swansea are putting on the pressure right now. No, I've missed the tackle. Luckily, he's missed it. That could have been their goal. And here they come again. No, no, go away. Leave me alone. Oh, check. I love you, man. What a save. It is all Swansea right now. It's terrifying. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. And they've missed again. How is this happening? I should be losing this game now. Just don't let them get the cross in. No. Petter, check again. Yes. Get in there. Right, guys. A 1-0 win. Probably shouldn't have been, but I will take the three points. And Petter, check. 89 rated now, by the way, was easily man of the match. 
Right, so just before the game against Juventus, we have some training we can do. I'm hoping for some more growth. And we do. Telemans is going to get halfway, roughly. There you go. He's almost 80. Schuler's gone up a little bit as well. But Bellerin, I think I'm going to have to start giving him two drills. He's not going up quickly enough, in my opinion. But as you guys know, it's now time to play Juventus at home. It's the second leg of the knockout stages, round of 16 in the Champions League. Absolutely vital we get a good result here. We've got pretty much my first team ready to go, except from Ramsey, who I've brought in for Kazola, A bit more defensive uh, ability, I guess. And then we've also got Gabriel coming in, as Schuler and Chambers are pretty tired from the last game. So let's get into it. Now, of course, the first leg ended 0-0, so we don't have an away goal advantage. But we didn't lose away from home, which was very possible. So I'm very happy with that first result. We just need to do a bit better in this game here at home. Here is the Juventus team. And again, they've gone with Murata and Mandzukic up front in a 4-4-2 diamond. So it's an extremely strong squad. And again, keep your eye on Murata. He may be a future signing for me. And here we go. This is absolutely huge, guys. I, I cannot tell you how important this game is. Imagine if I get knocked out. I mean... First season or not, I need to be getting further in the Champions League than the knockout stages. And we might get our first chance here. No, heavy pass. My turn for an attack now. Let's get that up to Oxlade-Chamberlain. Up against Alaba, who's very quick, so I won't be able to outpace him. But can I turn him? Oh, that was not the pass I wanted. Can I keep it in? I thought I kept that in for a second, but I was aiming for Bellerin. I think I can score in this game. I really do. I think that because they're playing so narrow, if I play it on the wings... I will get opportunities to score, but I just cannot afford to concede. No! Oh, wow. Petr Cech, brilliant save once again. I think the cross may have been going in. I'm not sure. But, yeah, just don't concede and just nick a goal. That's all I need to do in this game. Play it on the wings. Oh, God. Oh, wow. That was close again. Like this, for example. Get it out to Oxlade or whoever it is on the wing. We've got Sanchez on the left, of course. And just go for it. Run at them. And here we go with Aubameyang, maybe. Yes, this is nice. Again, on the outside, he's done Lichsteiner. Someone's made the run. No! No! Urza was right there, but Alexis has picked it up. No! The ball was right at his foot. Oh, that is painful. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Look how deep Juventus are defending. That is ridiculous. Let's get a pass inside here. Oh, Coquelin. Through. I'm on. Alexis Sanchez has got the goal. That could be absolutely vital, guys. Lovely bit of play from Urzil there. And the space they leave in their defence, that is shocking. What is Chiellini doing? He's having a cup of tea and a biscuit while Alexis Sanchez is scoring against Buffon, who was absolutely insane in the first leg. Wow. Okay, right. Really good start, although we're 35 minutes in. I just need to go on defensive, I think, and just make sure I don't concede some stupid chances. Here come Juventus once again, though. They've got so many players forward. It's just ridiculous. Well played, Gabriel. He saw the danger, and I've just given it straight back. Oh, no. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. That's an away goal. No. Why was I so slow to close him down? It's so frustrating. I defend well, and then I just pass it back. And then look at that. I just took too long to switch players, and it's right before halftime as well. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, man, it's just the worst timing possible. But it's okay. If I can score, I can score again, right? But if they can score, they can score again. It's going to be a difficult second half, this. There's times where I think the away goal rule is brilliant. And there's times like this where I think it's so frustrating. The fact that they can sit back and basically play for two draws in a row and still progress. It sucks, man. That away goal is going to kill me. I can feel it. But I'm going to try and fight my way back into this game. We might have an opportunity here if I play it right. Monreal. Oh, he's been closed down so quick. Coquelin into Aubameyang. Play onto the wing, maybe. What the hell is that? What is that pass? That is shocking. Come on, Oxlade. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Right, up to Aubameyang. Here we go. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this shit. Pull it back. This is what you call the break of dreams. Bellerin running at the defence. It's Alaba on his back. He's managed to escape. Get the ball in now. Here we go. Ramsey! Rebound for Alexis. Yes! Get in there, boys! Yes! Oh, man. And there I was, getting all cocky. Watch this. This is the perfect break. And it ends with a goal. Bellerin, man. What a run from the youngster. And here, I get very lucky it comes to Alexis. And look how close Buffon was to saving that. This could be such a big goal. 
Just need to defend. I need to defend. You know what? I'm not even going to risk it. With 15 minutes to go, I'm going to make some big changes here. Ozil's going to come off. Wilshere's going to come on. And I'm going to bring him down. So we've got a holding midfielder and swapping with Coquelin. So we're a bit more defensive there. And you know what? I'm going to do something even more crazy. I'm going to take Sanchez off and bring on Gibbs, if I can find him. There we go. And I'm going to bring him down like this. I know Wenger does this in real life. He's actually used Gibbs as a left midfielder. And I'm actually going to bring Oxlade down as well. What kind of midfielder can I play on the right that has defensive qualities? Uh, do you know what? I'll stick with Oxlade-Chamberlain for now. Look how many players I've got behind the ball. This is hilarious, man. This isn't even park the bus. This is ultra defence. But I never park the bus. I always seem to concede when I do that. So I'm not going to tempt fate. No. No. No, 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 no. That didn't just happen. What, what, the, what the hell just happened there? What just happened there? Oh, guys. I think I'm out. I think that could be it. Shit. Two minutes added time. We're literally into that two minutes. So if the ref blows the whistle now, he's a cheating bastard. But Juventus, they're doing what they're good at. Keeping the ball. Yes, Koscielny. Well done. Right, please. Don't blow the whistle. Oh, fuck you, ref. Fuck you. Oh, God, guys. We're out of the Champions League. <laughs> I was just saying at the start of this episode, or the start of this match, that we just we can't go out of the Champions League so early. But it's happened, guys. There's nothing I can do about it now. We are out of the Champions League. Gutted isn't even the word to describe how I feel right now. But, guys, we've got to just move on, and we will try again next year. We still have the FA Cup and the Premier League to fight for, which would give us three trophies. So wouldn't be bad at all. So... Anyway, we'll move on now. We've got some monthly scouting updates. Let's go through these. So, he's not good enough. He's not good enough. He's not good enough. Wow, these are terrible. This guy could be good. Um, we were scouting for another month there. Uh, into the next one, we've got the Spanish one, I think it is. Not good enough there. Nope. This guy could be good. Very nice. Not good enough there. These both could be very good players. So, we'll scout them for another month as well. Because we've already got a lot. So, it doesn't matter if they do move on. Another really good goalkeeper, but we just we don't need any more goalkeepers. Another goalkeeper, and this guy's rubbish as well. So, unfortunately, nothing amazing there. Um, but talking of the FA Cup, we've now got a game against West Ham. We'll simulate it using the second team. I would absolutely love to win the FA Cup and the Premier League and the Capital One Cup. So, let's see if we can keep our dream alive. We get a 2-1 win, but two injuries. Okay, one of them is bad. Joel Campbell is out for six weeks. It's not too long. It's just a month and a half. And the other player was obviously Callum Chambers. He's out for four days, which is nothing really. Well, here's the silver lining, guys. Even though we've been knocked out by Juventus, we did get £3.6 million for taking part in the Champions League. So I guess there's always a positive to every negative, but I would have rather gone further. And here's the league table right now. After 29 games, well, me and Chelsea are on 29. Some clubs are on 30, 28, 31. It's a real mixture there. Uh, but Chelsea, god damn it, they're four points clear. That's not good enough for me. Um, but, you know, <laughs> what can you do? At this point, it looks like Chelsea are going to be winning the league. But you never know what's going to happen in the remaining nine games that we've got. Uh, Man City are one point behind us, but they've got uh, one extra game played. So that's good news. It, it looks like, guys, if I'm honest, we're going to get second place, which may not be too bad. But thank you so much for watching. And once again, I'd really appreciate any support on the new store. Please do check it out, shop.officialmgh.com. I'd really, really appreciate it. And again, if you get anything from there, tweet me a picture. I'd love to see it. And uh, I'm really proud of this. So I'd love it if you guys could support me. And I will see you in the next episode soon.